Okay, yeah, it's the bottom. Okay. All right. Hey, okay. This is fine. Okay. So the topic is uh, from perception to deception. Actually, this is the second of a series of seven talks. The first one is the process of perception. Process of perception is when we see something or anything stimulate our senses, we begin to have a perception form in our head. And I was actually intending to talk about that. But since Mon says all oh, about illusions and so on, this is the second part. When something arises in the mind, the mind begins to distort this. So the mind actually begins to think something is real. In other words, reality is a subjective experience. Whatever we experience, uh, we think is real, but that thinking is in our head. So you may think of him as a different person from what I think of, because I, I know him based on my experience with him. But my experience with him is only happening up here. You don't know about it. You have a different experience with him. So your reality of who is Mon, what does he do, and what kind of a person he is, your reality is different from mine. So that's what we mean by subjective experience. Each of us has our own experience, what the reality is. And human beings, and this is a big statement, human beings are self-deceiving organisms. We like to fool ourselves, whether intentionally or unintentionally, whether consciously or unconsciously. Right? It goes deeper into explaining that arising, so I won't go too deep into that. But there is a sense of self arising where the I comes in. Oh, I am feeling this, I am feeling unhappy, I am feeling that. This is because of personalization. We begin to personalize what we have just experienced. Right? And, and this is called tanha. So let's look through the whole thing one step further. Environmental stimulus stimulate our five senses perception arises, we begin to interpret what it is, and then the affective process begins to interpret how it affects me, and this interpretation arouses emotions, emotional arousal, unconscious emotional arousal, which causes biochemical changes in the body. Uh, hormones begin to be released. And these hormones that are released can cause a heartbeat faster, can cause our breathing to shorten, can cause our body temperature to rise, can cause blood pressure to increase, can cause tensions in the body. So these are all tensions in the body, we begin to feel it. Right? We begin to feel these tensions in the body. And this is actually what was explained as so-called suffering, they call it dukkha, but actually it's just a form of discomfort in the body, which is unhealthy to the body. Okay. So now